All right. So our second common non-diatonic pitch collection is the octatonic or diminished scale. And this is a scale alternating half steps and whole steps. Using our fragments of tonality approach makes this particularly approachable uh, as far as sightseeing goes. Let's take a look at a piece by Benjamin Britten to see how those pivoting things on it work very nicely here. So um, grab my piece here. Here we go. Mm, and we'll start there. So what I see as I look at the beginning, D, E, F, D, C sharp, it looks like it starts in D minor. And if I wanted to, I could try to sing the whole thing on altered solfege syllables. Do, re, re, me, do, ti, do, re, me, fa, fa, I'd have to do the half step to to say. I could suddenly do that and then I'd have to go up. Or as I was on, say, whole step, le, le, la. La say is weird to sing though. That starts becoming unmanageable trying to figure out all of those intervals. There's an easier way, and that's to do the fragments of tonality. So I'm going to go back to the beginning here, and I'm going to continue in D minor until it makes sense to switch in the second full measure there. F, G, A flat. Oh, that's F minor. So let's just switch the solfege syllables, and then that last full measure, A flat, B flat. Think of the B natural C flat, and that's A flat minor. I'm just going to pivot back and forth between these different minor keys and see how easy that is to do this. Do ti do re me re do do re re me do ti do re me which is actually do re re me do which is actually me re do ti do re re me do ti do re me which I'm gonna call do re re me do which I'm gonna call me re re do ti re which I'm gonna call ti do re me which is do re re me do which is me re do ti and you see how easy that is to sing with the T, Do's, Re, Mays? It actually reminds me a little bit of the Fenaroli in minor, which is that alternating T, Do, Re, Me, T, Do, Re, Me, T, Re, Me, which is T, Do, Re, Me. And just using those T, Do, Re, Mays to pivot makes octatonic super easy to sight sing. All right, let's do a little bit of melodic dictation for, uh, with an octatonic collection here. Get our whiteboard up, get our listening up, and let's take a listen and see what we've got. So at the beginning I heard that alternating whole step, half step, half step, whole step pattern coming down scales. I heard diminished seventh chords being arpeggiated downwards and upwards. Those are those are typical of the octatonic collection, those dim diminished seventh chords. The reason we call it a diminished scale is you could think of it as two diminished seventh chords squeezed together a half step apart from each other. And so listening to that now, so I'm going to listen to the melody again. Let's use our contours. We'll listen to our melodic contour and listen to scale fragments, our, uh, diminished seventh chords arpeggiation and see how easy it is to dictate the melody. Just think about those alternating half steps and whole steps of the pitch collection when you're aware of the pitch collection. All right, so I started up, up a ways. Dum, give me my marker. Da, ha, step, da, di, da, dum. Then I did the same pattern coming down. Di, da, di, da, bum. So recognizing this, you know this scale pattern to half step there scale pattern half step there and then coming down I heard it arpeggiate down a diminished seventh chord bum dum beam bum down a half step at the bottom and up a diminished seventh chord bum bum beam bum and at the end 
Da da, I'm gonna sound like Tito. Whatever, whatever key I ended up in, but that half step there. And so now if I started on G, just filling in my pitch collection. G down a half step, F sharp. Down a whole step, E down a half step, D sharp. Back up the half step, E. Down a half step, D sharp. Down a whole step, C sharp. Down a half step, B sharp. C sharp. Down a diminished seventh chord, so I'm gonna go down minor thirds at a time. C sharp down to A sharp. Rethink of that A sharp as a B flat, so I can go down a minor third to G, down a minor third to E, down the half step to D sharp, up a diminished seventh, so up minor thirds, D sharp up to F sharp, F sharp up to A, A up to C, and then I had a half step. I haven't used any flats, so I'm not going to go C, D flat, I'm going to go C, C sharp. I guess technically I could call it A, B sharp, C sharp, I'm not going to worry about it. But there you go. By being aware and recognizing that sound of the octatonic scale and those diminished seventh chords characteristic of it, I'm able to just predict the pitches as I take my dictation through my contour. And just like we did back when we started diatonic pitch collections, we had a contour and then we added in the pitch collections. So there's the octatonic scale.